The Resident has been a relatively big TV show since its launch back in 2018. It had a pretty good viewership throughout its time on the air and has gathered a decent sized fan base. Recently, we saw main cast member Emily Van Camp leave the show, but why did she leave? Well, stay tuned because today we're discussing why she left the show and some other Resident news regarding the next season of the show. First up, what's happening around her leaving The Resident? So if you didn't already know, somehow The Resident is losing another one of its biggest and key cast members. Following its release back in 2018, Emily Van Camp has been a part of the show and has been playing one of the lead characters throughout. It's been revealed that she'll be leaving the season ahead of its season 5 release. Surprisingly enough, she isn't the only key cast member to be leaving the show. A few other vital cast members have left over the past year or so, and they'll all obviously have their reasons. It's just a shame that Emily Van Camp will be leaving as she's beloved by fans as an actress and of course as her character on the show. Her character, Nick Nevin, has also been heavily involved in the love interest storyline with Conrad Hawkins on the show. This is also a surprising thing as it's not really a useful thing for a character in a love triangle or sorts to leave the show mid-story arc. This is so shocking, it's making fans wonder what actually happened with Emily Van Camp and why she's leaving the resident in the first place. It's not as complicated as you might think and it's a pretty decent reason to be leaving a show as big as the resident. So stay tuned, we're about to talk about her reason why. So why did she leave the show? There are actually a few reasons why she's left the show, so what are the reasons? Well, first of all, Emily Van Camp surprised fans back in August with a very huge announcement for her family. She said she recently welcomed a baby girl into their lives with her husband, Josh Bowman, who is also an actor. Whilst nothing is confirmed about her reasons for leaving, this one is a pretty big one. She would obviously want to spend time with her family, especially with a new baby just being born. She would want to stay at home and develop her life outside of the TV series she's on. This makes lots of sense and is a completely reasonable reason for leaving a show of this caliber. It's a shame she's had to leave, but fans would obviously understand if she came out with this reason for her departure from The Resident. Deadline regarding what is happening with her also recently came out and said another reason why she left the show. According to Deadline, Emily Van Camp had requested to be let go from the show after season 4. They also claimed that efforts were there to keep her on for season 5, but in the end, they kept their word and she left when she wanted to. Again, it's sad to see her go, but at the end of the day, it's not like she's gone forever. We could see her appear down the line in an episode or something of the sort. Shows like to do this sort of thing nowadays, so it would be awesome to see her as this character once again. Next up, what about her appearance in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? One huge thing some people are forgetting about is Emily Van Camp's involvement in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and her character, Sharon Carter. So how does this involve her to departure from The Resident? If you didn't know already, Emily Van Camp recently appeared in the TV show Falcon and the Winter Soldier, in which she came back to her role as Sharon Carter, which she has played in the universe for a number of years now. Whilst this didn't take away from her filming of The Resident when it was shot back in 2019, it is clear that Marvel has some more plans for her character in upcoming projects. The ending of Falcon and the Winter Soldier clearly set her character, Sharon Carter, up for bigger things. These projects might be filming sooner rather than later. These projects could take up way more of her time than some imagine. So her leaving the resident made a lot more sense than trying to balance the two. So it's possible Emily Van Camp is clearing her schedule for possible Marvel movie or TV shooting over the next few months. She could appear in a number of already announced projects or she could be filming something Marvel haven't let slip out about yet. Either way, it's possible she has other things to do in her acting career than stay on the resident any longer. If she does move move on to newer Marvel projects, fans are going to be excited to see her again on their screens. She's an amazing actress and her skills need to be used on some big projects. Now on to some news about Season 5 of The Resident. So what's the possible release date for The Resident Season 5? What do we know about the release date for Season 5 of The Resident? Well, we know that the show was greenlit a few months ago now, but we don't know exactly when the show could release. The previous release dates for seasons of the show have been during the fall schedule, so it's logical to assume that this series should come back around the end of 2021. However, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we have just had and are still affected by things that could have changed with filming and, of course, post-production. Basically, every TV show that was supposed to come back during 2021 has 
been delayed either a few months or even into 2022 in some cases. And this could be the fate of season five of The Resident. The show really needs to be spoken about by its writers and of course the network as fans are growing impatient. If the show's been delayed, that's fine. They just need to announce it so fans can stop asking about it. So many people are hyped up for this next season as things are changing in the show. Of course, we have Emily Van Camp leaving the show and some other major characters have already recently left the hit show. This season's going to see the main character all by his lonesome. And according to the tagline, he has some healing to do. This season seems to be all about healing from within. But what does that mean? Looks like fans are going to have to wait and find out about the release date and what this next season entails for them. And finally, what's the plot of season five going to be? So to end off this video, we're going to go over the details we know about the fifth season of The Resident. What is the plot going to be? Well, whilst we don't know too much about it because nothing official has been released, you can assume we are going to continue the storylines from season four, this being the follow-up from Nick giving birth to her and Conrad daughter as well as Chastain CEO Kip doing business with Big Pharma. There should be conflict between Conrad and Chastain because of this business so it's going to be exciting to see it all play out. It's looking like Perrin is going to be a huge theme of this season but without Emily Van Camp it's going to be interesting to see what happens with this storyline. There's also probably going to be dealing with responsibility within parenting because of both parents bustling medical careers. These two are very big doctors and have some huge responsibilities beside parenting. It's going to be interesting to see what the show does to tackle these themes and how they represent them for their wider audience. At the end of the day, this happens in real life, so they need to show everyone what actually happens within people's lives who deal with this issue. We finally should also see the ramifications of AJ's recent struggles. He's been dealing with his girlfriend leaving the country and that his adoptive mother has lung cancer. Looking like he's going to have some major development throughout this season, and that's great because fans love the character so much. You can catch up on the previous seasons on Hulu right now. And that's the end of the video. The Resident is going to have an interesting future without its major cast members and especially without Emily Van Camp. Hopefully her reason for leaving makes sense to the audience and hopefully this isn't the last we see of her on the show. There will be plenty more opportunities for her to return in the future seasons of The Resident. Hopefully you enjoyed this video today. If you enjoyed the video you could do us a huge favor and comment down below what you thought about about the whole thing. If you can, that would be great. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you have the notifications bell on for future updates and, of course, our future videos. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.